As I told you before the film, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> now, questions. Do you guys never discuss funny things in a sauna? <laughs> <laughs> now you have to remember that uh, the ending can be perhaps a little bit sad. But in the first times, there are very happy stories about children who are uh, birth of charge of children and also the guy from the jail. I think that they were very heavy stories. So, mm -hmm. yes, yes, they can also very heavy stories. <laughs> Can I eat that? <laughs> but I think that uh, it's very important that you can also meet the dark side of the light. Of the light. 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 Because uh, there's always the dark side. And when you can face it, you can keep your, you can keep living. And there can be joy in your life after that. But if you don't face the dark side, I believe that you are going to be sick. And how, how, how did you reach that degree of uh, intimacy with you? I think it has been a long, long recording before you accede to those personal secrets. How long was it to um, those three things? Yeah. Uh, my part, when Jonas and Mika were shooting it, it took something like five hours. <laughs> <laughs> it was really horrible because I told my whole life for Petri, who is the guy with me. And after four or five hours, I, we understand, that, oh no, we have been so long here. We have been sweating all the time, so we understand that we need salt. <laughs> <laughs> and we went and take some salt and eat it. <laughs> because it, it was so tough for our mm. physique. Yeah. My part of uh, the film was that I, I was uh, in Afghanistan. NATO forces one year and after that we had in war you happen it, uh, things happen I came October and, and, and they asked me to come to the film it was better for me this film than, than the obligatory finish uh, you have to talk to the priest you have seen something the film and Mikko was my recovery from the war and then since I'm now retired and retarded two months <laughs> two months this is this is like a this is beautiful this is nice to see your audience here and and I hope you listen those deep sounds of this film <laughs> There's a bit of music to to glorify the drama of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, do you consider this is only one part of Sona reality, or is it the whole thing? <laughs> uh, the, it's a subjective vision, or it's real? What you can expect from Sona as your point of view? I think if, if, if it's gonna be a part of uh, old guys in the sauna, we're gonna be there and, and talking about what? Football. That's right. Finnish football. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any, any, anyway, it was it was uh, for me. It was uh, purifying. It was it was nice. We have been around the world with this film. And I, 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 I don't know nothing. I've been in the army 35 years. Think about it. I started in the army when I was 17 and I retired. And this was, anyway, this was the best thing I have never done to the Finnish men. We were hitting the sauna, and I was uh, sitting by the lake with Jonas, the other director and producer, 
and I know nothing about documentaries, how successful they are. And I asked quite many questions for, about, for Jonas, and Jonas told me that a good Finnish documentary can have, if, it, if, if it's going to show, be shown in film theaters, it's going to have 3,000 people to look at it. And perhaps it's going to be in 10 international uh, film festivals, a good Finnish documentary. And we had in Finland 50,000 people in theaters, something like four and a half, 400,000 people look at it in television. It has been in 100 film festivals, wow. something wow. like that. And 101. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that it's uh, something like two or three million people have seen it in television. So, yes, <laughs> this was a surprise. This was very far from this 3,000. I worked as a military policeman in the uh, base of in Helsinki and asked my colonel, Sir, is it possible to me to go to sauna? Of course. And I asked him, naked? Oh yes, absolutely yes. And this is why I'm in the film. <laughs> <laughs> but how, how did the uh, directors find you? Or how did you get in contact with the film yeah, I mean, uh, My part is so that I'm also doing uh, voluntary work in an association that organizes peer support for the families that has lost their baby children and Jonas uh, for God for our uh, for our leader and ask that is there could there be a man, man who would be ready to talk about his life in so on and that's how they find me my part of what is I met martial arts instructor and I'm a sergeant major in the Finnish army. Do I look like that? Yes, I do. <laughs> and somebody, somebody wanted to, there has to be a soldier, not the major, because he is automatically talking about politics. I'm a <laughs> sergeant major. I told how I feel. That's my way of life. Yeah. Through with you in the summer? Yeah, they had to. It took, uh, for example, my part took four or five hours to heat first the cameras and they were naked too. <laughs> <laughs> so this wasn't a Swedish film, it was a Finnish film to heat the cameras and, and, and they were the tough guys, we were. <laughs> Jonas told that uh, this camera group was the funniest group ever. <laughs> You know, they, they have fed the stupid looking gear yeah. with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> still, still they, they, the sauna, you have to be in the sauna plus 80, 85 yeah. to feel the sauna and, and the cameraman and the, what it's called, the bull, it's got to be there. And heavier for them than to us. <laughs> but um, no alcohol, never. That that was no drinking, no no alcohol. Because think, yeah. sauna is shrine for us. Alcohol is different. I think that most of us who are in the movie in this document made make a decision that it, it is important for us that we are going to speak so that we haven't been drinking a beer. It was for for me. It was important that I made it, I made the decision that I won't drink alcohol and talk about my life. I will talk about my life without alcohol mm -hmm. because in Finland it's perhaps not so usual to talk mm -hmm. about difficult things <laughs> without alcohol. <laughs> and suddenly, suddenly afterwards, the ask ask the guys who were in the film, did you have? Beer or nothing? No, nobody, nobody. Not even the big guys from the paper mill. Mm. No, nobody. One or two beers. Uh, one or two beers. Maybe, maybe you uh, use the beer. <laughs> <laughs> he, he would have. Nobody couldn't ask him. Are you taking a beer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, he went asleep in November, 
and he weighed 480 kilos. And now it's time to wake him up. Is it you or me? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it's a documentary, but how real are the stories? Very real stories. The stories. I can say that unfortunately they are all true. They're all true. All the stories are real. Finnish way of life. <laughs> Once in your lifetime, there ain't nobody who says, don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. It's me and Mikko, we can even take a sauna one week. We don't need to talk about that. But if there is a girl, why did you do this? Why did you do that? Why did you do this? Why did you do that? <laughs> it was time for me. Do you feel your life has changed thanks to the movie after the movie? Or during the movie? <laughs> Yeah, in a way, yes. In a way, but uh, this has given this has given me some kind of confidence that if I know inside of me that what is right for me, I can do it. Whatever the other people are going to say about it. So in a way, it has changed something. For my side, it's uh, like the Finnish army uses this film as how to approach the men. <laughs> girls, we have even girls in the Finnish army, and we have everything in the Finnish army. They use this, look this film, how you feel. And, and this is uh, even in grammar school, there's a picture of me and Mikko. <laughs> Finnish men. <laughs> we are no but men. <laughs> Nobody has also feelings. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, about the influence of the movie, last week I was looking on the internet at what, is, what people are saying about this movie, and I found a Swedish web page. It's a, it's a Christian associate in Sweden that had made a decision that they are hiring a big sauna once a month. So they are having a sauna church. Mm. Because they had found that, in a way, the idea of the movie. That you are going into the sauna, you are naked there, and you are facing the pe real people with real feelings, and they, and they thought that it's something uh, from the Bible. <laughs> so it was in a way very funny, and but I felt it very cool that somebody is feeling so strongly. And maybe it's cheaper than going to a therapist. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't. Um, because I'm making this voluntary work with this association, which is helping people have, who have lost their children. I, in a way, I know that the uh, need of therapy, therapy there, is a, there is a need of therapy, but um, some part of it could be, is not so necessarily if we can meet uh, real people, if we, if we can share our stories and what we are feeling. Because when I'm meeting people, other people who have lost their children, and these people are like a family for me, because it's, it's a normal thing for us, the grief and the sadness and the sorrow in our life is normal for us, and when we can talk about it together, I think that means that we don't need so much therapy. And in the army, I have to tell you, uh, it's a question of, you don't have insignia when you are in the sauna. Mm -hmm. You can be sitting next to admiral or general. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, who throws the most water? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so well, much. Well, uh, what, I, uh, so, yeah. what, what did the Finnish women think about the movie or how did they like it? Did, did it surprise them? I, uh, most of the women have liked it a lot. Yes. Do the dishes, take the laundry, <laughs> take everything. But uh, usually, yes, yes, because in Scandinavia we have a uh, good system. Good system. Uh, uh, we, we man has to do what man has to do. <laughs> <laughs>